Hello Kingdom family and welcome, welcome, welcome to day one of our prayer class. Now I know you may be wondering, why did my parents sign me up for the prayer class and what am I going to learn? So today we're going to do a project and we're going to see what happens when God's people pray. For this project, we'll need one paper plate, one glass of warm water, and my favorite, some Skittles. Now, what is prayer? Prayer is just simply talking to God. There's no special way to do it. There's no right way. There's no wrong way. There's not something that God is looking for when you pray. Your, pray, your prayer is not going to be better than anyone's. Your prayer can't be worse than anyone's because to God, your prayer is perfect. So again, prayer is just simply talking to God. So it can sound like, God, today, I didn't really have a good day. Or God, today, my day was amazing. Or God, thank you for giving me a new bike. Thank you for waking me up this morning. Anything, a simple conversation, just like you talk to your mom and dad, or just like you talk to your friends at school. So for today, our Skittles will be different people. So I'm gonna grab a few Skittles out my bag. So here's our prayers. I'm gonna put our prayers on our plate. Now, can I pray over here and someone pray over here in Jamaica and God still hear it? Of course, God can hear us all when we pray. So it doesn't matter what time of day you pray. It doesn't matter how loud you pray. It doesn't matter if you pray in your head. God loves you and he will hear you no matter how you come to him. So, we're going to see what happens when we pray. If you want to do this project with me, all you'll need is a bag of Skittles, some warm water, and a paper plate. You can also use a glass plate as long as it's circle and it's white so that you can see through it. So first, we're just going to take our Skittles and, and align them on the sides of the plate. So I did this project with my class and they like to line the Skittles up in a certain color, but I just put them anywhere. So the Skittles represent different people in different prayers. So maybe one person is in New York City and they're praying for their friends. And another person is in Maryland and they're praying for their grandma. We just got a bunch of prayers. And you want to make sure there's only one Skittle on each row. Okay, one Skittle. See, this is double. We'll take that out. And we're going to put God in the middle. So all the blue Skittles are going to represent people that are praying for, okay, too many browns. The, the blue color is going to represent people that are praying for a house, for example. Maybe some people around the world are praying and believing God for a house. And then the green ones, maybe they're believing God for money. And let's say the brown ones are believing that God will take and give all the homeless people around the world homes to live in so they can be warm this winter. Now God is in the middle and all of these different prayers, they're coming to him day after day. And God loves us so much that he hears all of them. Later in, the, in this course, we're gonna learn how God responds to prayer. Because yes, he hears us, but he doesn't always move as soon as we say, God, can I please get a new bike? God is not necessarily gonna bless you with a bike right away. Sometimes God says yes. Sometimes God says no. Sometimes God says grow. And sometimes God just wants you to go and that means he's ready to give it to you right now so in section three of this program we're going to learn that but today let's just see what happens when all of our prayers come together i'm going to take my warm water and i'm going to pour it right in the middle of this plate nice and slow 
Oh, y'all, I'm making a mess. I'm making a mess. Okay. Let's see what happens when God's people pray. pray. Does he listen? Does he hear us? Like, does God really, really hear us when we pray? Let's see. If you look over here, look at our prayers. They're leaving our body. And remember I said that God is in the middle. And, and look at it. God is hearing us. He's receiving our prayers. He's hearing everything we say. He wants to bless us. Look at it. Look at God pulling us closer and closer. As we connect with him, he's pulling on us. He's growing us. He's making us stronger. Look at how the world's prayer. We got prayers for money. Somebody prayed for a house. Somebody's believing God for a car. Somebody's believing that God will help the homeless people to find homes this winter. He'll keep them warm. Someone's praying for their friend's health. And look at God. He hears us. He loves us. He wants to help us. All we have to do is pray. Like I said, you can yell, Father, I thank you. Or maybe you're shy and you just want to say really quiet, Father, I thank you. Look at what happens when God's people come together. It is beautiful. And nothing in this world is more important than having a strong, solid foundation with God. I am so happy that you guys are in my class and I'm ready to have some fun. I'm ready to do some project with you guys that is really, really, really going to teach us how important prayer is. So I would love for you guys to try this project. If you like it, please send me a photo of how your prayer circle came, how your prayer circle came together. Until next time, Kingdom family, please, 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 please stay positive.